Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joanna, if you've never been here before, and today I have my 2020 holiday gift guide. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you know I love to do these holiday gift guides. I do them almost every year. I will link some of my past ones in the description box down below because things that I bought then are probably still very relevant to the things that I'm recommending this year. This gift guide is a little bit different than my other ones because I haven't received all of the gifts because there are lots of shipping delays, but the fact that I haven't received those gifts is even another reason why I feel that it's very important to get this up as soon as possible. So while it's a little bit later than I would like because I wanted to wait for at least some of the gifts to arrive, it is still probably a little late. So if you're watching this, I urge you order your holiday gifts now. If you've already completed them and you're just watching this for fun, then welcome. So without further ado, let's get into all the things that I'm recommending this year and that I'm personally giving because that is how I normally film these gift guides. And if you're someone that I give a gift to, then please stop watching now. Don't ruin the surprise for yourself. And for everyone else, let's get into it. When it comes to apparel gifts in 2020, there are only a certain number of items that I think are the most appropriate gift for this year. And that is predominantly loungewear. Loungewear in 2020 has been like the go-to apparel item and that's why I'm giving it as a gift. So I actually picked up matching sets for a number of people and I just think that they make the best gift because loungewear can be sort of pricey if you're getting a matching set, which is my preferred way. Go ahead and watch a video uh, talking about the loungewear that I had collected at the beginning of this year. It's expanded slightly since then. But I picked up this set specifically from Anthropology, which has the matching bottoms and top. And I just think that it's the perfect gift because you know that the person is going to use it this year. If you give it to someone, while they might at first be like, well, it's loungewear on a normal year, this year specifically, they're going to love it because they will be living in it for the next couple of months probably. So, loungewear. Number one category, I don't have all the pieces that I'm giving to people because some of them I'm still waiting for but loungewear is definitely my number one gift. The set that I had, like I said, was from Anthropology, but I also really like loungewear sets from a ton of different companies. Lewin Gray is one that I personally really love, but you can find loungewear sets basically anywhere. When it comes to loungewear for men, I actually think that pajamas and matching pajama sets are a really great option for them. So I picked up this set from Ralph Lauren. I got it at Macy's, but you can get it from a ton of different stores. And it just looked like the coziest outfit it for guys. I think that loungewear, while you can get matching loungewear sets for guys, it's a little bit harder to find, but matching pajama sets are easy to find. And it doubles, obviously, as pajamas, so in the future when people aren't wearing like full matching lounge sets, they can still use them as pajamas and not feel weird about it, but right now they could use it as lounge sets, so it's like a double, you know? If you don't want to go the lounge route, then I still think that a sweater and a great cashmere sweater is one of the most perfect gifts to always give, and even though people aren't really getting as dressed normally, um, as in other normal years. Um, a cashmere sweater is timeless, ageless, and it honestly is still going to be worn this year because people are still getting dressed some days, probably more than I am, but some days they are. This is a sweater from Free People. I love Free People sweaters, and I got it in this cute purple color this time. This sweater retails for $148, so it's a little bit pricier. You can get cashmere sweaters anywhere, but this one I really like. Um, and yeah, I think that anyone, even if they're not going out right now, will still really appreciate a really beautiful cashmere sweater and and obviously an easy gift. The next recommendation that I have is athletic wear. And athletic wear I think is a great gift this year because a lot of people are focusing on fitness at home and a lot of people probably don't have the most diverse range of athletic wear. So workout clothes are sometimes pricey, which makes them a good gift. You can also introduce people to brands that they've never had before. So I have picked out a couple of pairs of workout shorts 
for someone in my life who doesn't have very much workout clothes, but who has been exercising a lot more. These are actually from the brand Hill City, which is a men's athletic brand. They are like the brother brand of Athleta, but I think that they're undergoing some sort of change or just closing. So these I actually got heavily on sale, which was one of the reasons why I wanted to get them. But obviously there are tons of different choices. You guys know I'm partial to Athleta for women's athletic wear, but there's Lululemon. There are tons of options. There's free people movement, which I love. And I just think that that's a really good gift because people don't always invest in their workout, workout equipment or workout clothes. And it just opens up this whole opportunity for gift giving. This is actually a gift for my mom because she has been eyeing this for years and years. She's someone that loves to cook but simply doesn't want to put in all the work anymore. So she has been asking for an Instant Pot. And if you know someone who has been looking for one of these, this is the perfect opportunity to get them, especially going into the winter because a pressure cooker is great for like soups and stews and things like that. So I actually looked at a ton of different Instant Pots and I went with the Duo Evo Plus because this one has a ton more options than other ones. It has a slightly sleeker appearance, if you guys can see this box is heavy, with the little knob, and it just had a ton of options that the basic one does not come with. This one serves up to six, you can get it in a bigger setting. It is 10 in one, and I just think it's a really good option for giving someone who is looking for something that can make cooking a lot easier for them. And you could also gift like a cute cookbook with it because there are a lot of Instant Pot cookbooks. Tons of different options to supplement this gift with. But I think it's one of the best things that you could give someone who wants something for their kitchen. Um, and it's fairly affordable. I think it comes in at around $70. So not too big of an, invest of an investment, but a really great option for someone who wants something for their kitchen and um, maybe doesn't want to treat themselves to it. Another two gifts that I'm not personally giving this year, but I think that they're great recommendations are one, a Dutch oven. If you know someone who's really into baking bread this year or who just wants to kind of up their like culinary game, then a Dutch oven is a great opportunity to do that. I recently got one and I love it. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit pricier of a gift, that's a really great option. Another gift that I am personally asking for this year is actually an uni pizza oven. I love these. Most of them are back ordered, so it's kind of a gift that you'd have to pre-order for someone and find a nice way to present it to them on Christmas day or on the holiday day um, when you're exchanging your gifts. And I just love the uni pizza oven idea, range, concept, I think it's a great gift to give. Another great option for someone who really loves to cook and is probably cooking a lot more this year is a cookbook. So this is a cookbook that I've actually picked out for someone and this is a taco cookbook. Picking out a cookbook for someone is really great because you can pick something that maybe you share a memory about or that you know is like their favorite food or that they love to order out but they don't necessarily know how to make you could get it from one of their favorite chefs, from one of their favorite TV personalities. A cookbook is a great option. It's a good stocking stuffer if you're looking for a smaller item. It's a great gift to give to someone that maybe you don't know quite as well, like a coworker. It's a fun cookbook, so it's not like you need to learn how to cook better. It's something that could be a lot more fun, simply put. This next recommendation kind of falls within this cooking category, but it's also an environmentally friendly option. So if you know someone who's really big on recycling, on environmental initiatives, I think that one of the best gifts to give are these stasher baggies. You can find a variety of brands that uh, make this item, but I personally like the stasher brand. They come in a ton of colors and sizes, but essentially what they are are these silicone reusable baggies that replace single use plastics in your refrigerator. They're dishwasher safe, they're free of plastics. So I'm actually giving these in a little gift basket. I'm giving them like a whole range of sizes so that way they'll have a full collection from the get-go. But if you know someone who is really big on the environment right now or in life because we all should be, then this is a really good gift because they are kind of expensive, but they are really useful and the person will definitely love them after you give it to them. <music> 
So now let's shift into some of the smaller gifts that I think are really cute for this year. One of them is this little jewelry holder. I love this. I picked this one up from Anthropology, but a ton of brands and jewelry companies have these. They're essentially little carrying cases where you can put jewelry items in. It has um, little studs to put earrings in. This compartment on the bottom, you can put in bracelets or other kinds of jewelry. And it's just perfect for carrying items around with you and not getting them lost in your bag. So this one says tiny treasures on it and I thought it was so cute. And it's just like a really great little add-on or stocking stuffer to give to someone in your life. This year, I have a feeling that a lot of people will be gifting this item and I just thought that I'd tell you guys about my favorite one. This is a hand sanitizer. It is a big one. A lot of people have been carrying these around in their car or in their purse and I thought that this one was a great size for your car. It's by the company J-O, J-A-O, Joe, I guess. Um, and it's called the Joe Refresher. This has the best scent. Not only is it great at sanitizing your hands, but it smells great. It doesn't dry out your hands too much. And it just is a really nice hand sanitizer that doesn't smell straight like alcohol, but doesn't smell super fragrance like something from Bath and Body Works. One gift that I'm giving for the work at home life is a nice seat cushion. So this one I had opened and had to put back in its place. Um, but this is the seat cushion from the brand Cushion Lab, which I was getting a ton of Instagram ads for. I think it's a great gift to give because there are a lot of people sitting at home in you know, a dining room chair or sitting in a chair that's not very comfortable because they don't normally invest in their office equipment at home, but who have been doing all of their work from home. So upgrading their seat cushion can not only improve their posture and make it more comfortable, but it's something that they're going to use every day and probably wouldn't spend the money on themselves. So a seat cushion is my go-to gift or like a back cushion um, is a great item I think to give someone for the holidays. It might be more of a practical gift than like a amazing, fun, like enthralling gift, but it's still a good choice nonetheless. For someone that's really hard to buy for, one thing that I am giving this year is a gift basket of different food items and drink items. I think that this is a good staple gift to give to someone that maybe is a little bit harder to shop for, that has everything that they want, or someone who really loves to snack. Give them something that they can indulge in. Harry and David is obviously a staple for this. That's who I went with this year. So I got this cool Bloody Mary mix and a little snack box to go with it, just so that way they had some options, but again, it could make their cocktail making life a little bit easier. And it's just like a cute little gift that's already put together for you, so simple, and they will obviously love and enjoy. For tech gifts, my big tech gift that I recommend for the year is an iPad. This is my personal iPad. I'm not giving this one away, but I am gifting this actually to a couple of people. It is obviously a pricier gift to give, but this year I think people have relied on technology so much more than ever before. And an iPad is something that a lot of people probably don't own, but it's a really great way to allow people to connect together, especially through things like online games where everyone might need the same app. Or if I personally actually have someone who refuses to get Apple products, but everyone else in their life does have Apple products, which means that they can't FaceTime with anyone. So I'm giving them an iPad this year so that way they can be more connected to the people that they love and not feel left out. And they'll also obviously <laughs> be able to use the iPad for other things. It just acts as a great multi-purpose tool and I love iPads. So that is a gift for someone that you know that doesn't have one, maybe someone that's older or someone who just doesn't think that they need it necessarily, but could really use it. And I have to give a shout out to this product in my gift guide. This is the Dyson Airwrap. You guys might have seen the video that I just posted reviewing this. This is such a great idea for a gift if you have the means or looking to spend a little bit more on someone. It is the ultimate hairstyling tool, in my opinion, for someone who wants to achieve blowouts or just wants to simplify their routine, definitely think that this is a great gift to give.
The last gift that I have is more of a memento kind of gift. I thought this year one of the things that people wanted more than ever was to connect to each other and you know we're not going to places together so something that I thought was a really great idea was a memory book, a custom printed memory book and I'm actually doing this in the form of custom cookbooks. So I took family recipes that were handwritten down by great aunts and grandmothers and even my parents and took the recipes and turned them into a beautiful custom cookbook for my sister actually. And I think that it's a really great creative gift. If you aren't into the cookbook idea, then you could do it with, you know, pictures of old keepsakes or, um, you know, old family photos that maybe only have faded copies of the photos and you can actually make a nice printed book that you can use and pass on over time. I think that it's a really great gift and it also takes some time and energy out of yourself and I think that, that really shows in the gift that you give to someone else that you put in the work to give them something more than just buying it. So that is everything for this video. I hope that you guys liked my 2020 holiday gift guide. If you guys have any gifts that you're giving this year, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below so other people can check that out and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and stick around to see what other kind of videos I put out next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And if you guys want to see what other videos I've put out, you can go ahead and click on one of those here or click on my face to subscribe.